Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Man, just gonna take the video, huh? That's cool. I mess with you, though. I mess with your videos. They cool. But you gonna take the video, son? You taking the video off the channel? What's up with that, bro? I like the channel, but what's up with that? You gonna take my video and talk over the video? I bet. Let's have some casual boxing talk about Luis Ortiz and Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is kind of at a crossroads at the moment. You know, Vladimir Klitschko announced his retirement last month, so he didn't have to face him in a rematch. He was opting to fight Kubrat Pulev. Then Pulev pulled out, didn't want the fight. Next, we've got his WBA mandatory, who's an outstanding mandatory, actually, Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz wants to fight Anthony Joshua next. In fact, Luis Ortiz has a number of options at the moment. He's got Deontay Wilder. He's got Anthony Joshua. He should be pursuing Anthony Joshua, of course, because that's the money man at heavyweight. But me personally, I don't think Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua want that fight. So we're going to wait five days, like Ortiz said. He also said that if after those five days they decide not to fight Ortiz, then he's going to be stripped of his WBA championship, and we knew this. But the curveball that he throws at us is, once Joshua gets stripped of the championship, then he'll be awarded the belt. Do you really want that, though, Ortiz? You want to win a belt without actually fighting somebody? That's what's hot now? Okay. So you get Joshua stripped of his championship, then you can go fight Deontay Wilder, right, in the unification bout. Then you could more than likely lose your WBA championship after Deontay Wilder knocks you out. But... We're talking about Anthony Joshua. And really, what's next for him? But what's next for him is not Luis Ortiz. Because he doesn't want to fight him. Because if he wanted to fight him, he would have said, that's my next opponent. Plain and simple. Outstanding mandatory. What belt you want? IBF for the WBA. It's up to you, bro. All the organizations are corrupt anyway. But Joshua's the money man. That's why he's coming after you, to be honest. Eddie Hearn don't want you to fight him. Anthony Joshua don't talk too much about you, to be honest. Eddie Hearn mentioned that he would allow Joshua to fight Ortiz, but not next. He doesn't want that work next. In fact, I don't even know who won in the fight between Ortiz and Joshua. I don't even want to think about that right now. I think Ortiz has more athleticism than Anthony Joshua. I think Joshua's a bit too stiff, a bit robotic in his movements. And I think Ortiz could play to his weaknesses. But we don't know. We're probably not ever going to get this fight ever. So why we'll talk about it, right? Um, Anthony Joshua, well, really, Eddie Hearn used to promote Luis Ortiz. So I don't understand what the urgency is now. I mean, previously, you probably took some step aside money to allow Anthony Joshua to, to fight Vladimir Klitschko. And you probably should have pressed that, that fight a little harder. But you were silenced and you were quiet for a minute. You had that injury. were in the ring for a little bit. So, really, Father Time's catching up with you. Because you're 38. Or you say you're 38. You look more like you're 50. But that's neither here nor there, right? Luis Ortiz probably knows that it's time for him to get a big fight and start making these big paydays. So he's going to be stalking our champions here. Again, if this fight with Anthony Joshua falls through, it's likely, according to him, that he could get awarded the WBA championship, and then he could go fight Wilder. In fact, he says that the fight with Wilder is not secured. It's not 100% right now because he's actively trying to get Joshua in the ring because of the money, obviously. So Deontay Wilder, bum squad, Bomb squad, weed smoker, um, bum fighter, uh, janitor beaten, Deontay Wilder. 
has expressed that he really wants to fight Luis Ortiz next. Like, that's the fight he wants. And I'm happy that he's calling out Ortiz because he needs a, a legitimate name on his resume because if I scroll up and down his resume, I see nothing but trash. Basura. So, he needs that Luis Ortiz fight. And Ortiz needs to fight with Deontay Wilder, to be honest with you. That heavyweight division is not that deep, dog. It's not. I'm starting to feel like the heavyweight division is not the best division in boxing because all these dudes are running scared of each other. They don't want to fight. These big fights are not being made. Joshua Klitschko, Fury Klitschko, like what? What about the rest of them dudes? They all fighting bums, man. But then again, it's nothing but bums in the heavyweight division anyway. But Deontay Wilder did take it a step further because he was fighting super bums, yo. Like the bums he was fighting... They weren't even full-time boxers, man. They were cereal packers, dog. Like, they was exterminators. They spraying for bed bugs, shit like that, man. But, hey, that's that's the path Deontay Wilder chose to get his green belt, you know, the most coveted belt in all the world, the, the belt that you got to come to Alabama for if you want it, you know? Ain't nobody really trying to go to Alabama, though, dog. Like, real talk. You better not fight Luis Ortiz in Alabama. You better fight him in Vegas, dog. Vegas at the Barclays Center. I'm not trying to see you fight in Alabama again. You know what I'm saying? Man, you need to come on to you need to come on to the Hitman Boxing Show so we can have a, a conversation. A casual boxing talk. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, Deontay. You know? So y'all let me know what you think's next for Luis King Kong Ortiz. Let me know what you think is next for him. I think it's more clear that he's going to be fighting Deontay Wilder because Eddie Hearn does not want that smoke with Luis Ortiz for whatever reason. They don't want that fight to be made. At least not now. They don't want it. And I guess another rumor I heard was if the WBA would... Well, if... What was that? I don't know. It was, it was some scenario where... Joshua could end up fighting Wilder at the end of the year, but that ain't going to happen either, dog. Like, that's definitely not going to happen. Deontay Wilder needs to get his name up. He needs, he definitely needs to get his name up because nobody knows him outside of Alabama. And, you know, the only people who really know Deontay Wilder are the casuals. And my barber, my barber knows who Deontay Wilder is, but he don't know he's a bum fighter. <laughs> I try to tell him he's a bum fighter. He don't believe me, though. <laughs> I got to show him the footage next time. I go get a cut. That's what I'm going to do. So y'all let me know what's up with Luis Ortiz. Maybe I misread something. Let me know about that five-day decision to ban. Uh, let me know about what could potentially go down, man. Because I just skimmed through the article. I didn't really read the whole thing, you know. On some Floyd Mayweather shit. I didn't really read it like that, you know. So drop a comment, like the video, subscribe. And don't take the video. Don't take the video and talk over it, okay? Hitman Boxing. Your videos are nice. I, I mess with your videos, dog. It's not a diss. I'm just saying, don't take the video. It's just, that was weird. Maybe you're just paying homage to me. I, I get it. That's what it, that's, that's how I took it, but don't take the video. Hit my box and I'm out. Niggas steady ignoring greatness. Word. A poor bearer, what you need when I come undertaking this hostile takeover by the chill hover. I got the blueprints, I really do this, so move on over. Stay in your lane, niggas, stay in your lane. You steady running at the guns, but fucking suck at the game. Ain't it a shame? It really is. My words invoke fear. I teach you lessons that I had you breaking down in tears. Call me Joe Clark with a baseball bat. Chaining up the doors and spelling all these niggas from rap. Cuz they kill your brain cells, son. How don't you see it? They steady brainwashing you. And then repeating, but tis the season for chill wage. I bring about change. But not Obama, cuz this nation I will never claim. I got my sights aimed at the top spot on the chop block.